Hey guys, Joe Cycle here. So uh, what's uh, what's the updates on the Indian Pacific race? So um, my call actually got fairly close to Kristoff earlier, but um, Kristoff actually is about 150 k's, 150 kilometers. Let me see. He's at he's at uh, He's gone 2,400 kilometers. Mike Hall has gone 22, yeah, just about 2,250. Um, so, you know, 150 kilometers. We're talking seven, eight, seven to eight hours ahead. That's that's how far Kristoff is ahead of Mike Hall. So, do yesterday I actually thought that Mike Hall was going to catch him. Um, it's too, it's too long. I mean, Kristoff can take a seven hour nap and my call would be completely depleted by the time he catches up and Kristoff would just, you know, take off again. So, uh, chances of my, unless something happens to Kristoff, like injury, mechanical issues, or, or maybe he is burning himself out, but it, it, it just, He's gotten himself so much of a lead that now he can actually rest up and rely on that lead. So hats off to Kristoff. I think he's going to win the race. Um, like I said, unless something happens to him physically or his morale drops uh, or something happens to his bike or his equipment, um, I think Kristoff has got this in the bag. I know I'm calling it early. I know half the race is still to come, but... Um, I think he's just he's just riding so strong and he's playing his cards so well that Kristoff is gonna is gonna win. Uh, Mike Hall, um, he's gonna have to literally bust it. Seven hours is a lot to recoup, especially you know now day four like this. Everybody's tired. Everybody's hurting. Everybody you know everybody's. Uh, Rear end is hurting. I mean, everybody's chafing. I mean, this is now true grit that we're seeing. Uh, speaking of true grit, I keep giving her huge props. Sarah Hammond is killing it. She has moved up to fourth. Um, she is right behind uh, Seb Dune Dunna Dunna. I don't know. Um, and she's still the the uh, leading female racer, and um, uh, you know anything, any you know, uh, say something to her Facebook or Instagram, give her some support, give her some love because she is a trooper, like a true hardcore trooper. Um, really, really sorry to see Doncha. I can't pronounce half of these names, guys, so I apologize. But Don Chuck Cutris, um, don't exactly know what's going on, uh, why he um, abandoned the race, but he did. Um, so feel bad for him. Um, well done, though. I mean, he literally he went a long way. Um, so uh, those are the kind of the updates that I have so far. Uh, let's see cycling maven my boy yeah he's he's riding with the pack um i do want to give out a little shout out where is he so rhino um he was with the cycling maven back here he was back there with him and you could tell that his fitness was better than cycling mavens and uh, so he decided to take off. And he's now passed all these people, and he's right here. Um, so uh, really well done. Really, really uh, well done, Rhino. Um, so that's it. That's it for today. Um, there were, some, uh, uh, there were some, some close calls earlier. Um, I'll do a little time lapse for you guys here. And you guys can see the problem is the time lapse goes so quickly. But uh, you can see here, I mean, it, it was getting close. And uh, at one point, my call almost looked like he was catching up. 
And Mike Hall then took a rest right here, and Kristoff just kept on going. I mean, he's just, I don't know what, what he's, you know what he's on? He's on his bike. That's what he's on. No, but uh, I don't know. He's he's just a hardcore rider. He's a very well experienced. If you look him up, you guys can look him up. He is a very, very experienced rider, uh, and he knows what he's doing. Um, I mean, look at him. He is he is thin, man. I mean, uh, he is uh, he's uh, he's showing some real true grit to go through this. Um, the second part of the race, so I want to talk really, really quickly about the second part of the race versus the first part of the race. So the second part of the race is a little bit tougher because you have uh, more hills, more mountains to climb. But the scarcity of water and places to rest the first half um, was not that many. So it was, you know, the, the, the real conundrum was do you have enough water and and where can you sleep and where can you rest? The second part of the race, um, there's a lot of cities that they're going through. So the scarcity of water isn't as great. Um, uh, so I, I don't know how much water they've been carrying so far, but a lot of the riders, if they're smart, they'll be able to start unloading a little bit and carrying less with, with them. Um, and less with them is less weight. It's easier to ride and get a little bit more speed or at least maintain the same speed you started with. But uh, even so, you know, after four or five days in the saddle like this, it's, um, it's true grit, real true grit. Thanks for checking out my videos. Um, I really do appreciate the support you guys are, uh, are showing, not just me and my videos, but um, if you guys are showing the support to the actual riders, and this is why I'm doing this, I really am following the race. I'm really excited about it. Um, and then uh, give them some uh, give them some kudos. You know, reach out to either Facebook or Instagram or whatever, and give them some kudos because these guys, uh, they are you know they're not sponsored the same way as Chris Froome and you know all the other two the two the France riders are. You know, they're they are um, a lot of them are doing this on their own dime, and uh, you know people like you and me who are following and it seems silly because we're following dots on a map. But, you know, if you really do understand what they're doing and what they're going through, uh, and we can only really, uh, if we've been riding and, and if you guys are riders, I, I'm a rider. I've done 24-hour races. Um, in fact, that is actually the longest I've done is a 24-hour race. So I haven't done, you know, what they're doing. But I can tell you that doing a 24-hour race, if you've done one, um, it, it, takes, it takes some... some uh, uh, some mental strength uh, to be able to complete it, to do it. Uh, and these guys, you know, they don't have the support. They don't, they're not going around a, 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 a loop or on a circuit or, or, or whatnot. They're out there um, by themselves, self-supported. Um, I saw that uh, one of the riders had three flats within an hour or something like that. Three flats. I mean, how many tubes do you carry with you, you know? Um, by the way, why wouldn't you go tubeless, right, guys? I mean... Tell me if I'm wrong here, but wouldn't you go tubeless in something like this with a lot of tubeless goo in the tires? Uh, maybe I'm wrong here, but that's what I would do. Um, anyways, I want to keep, keep it quick, not waste your time. Um, right now, the way I see it, Kristoff has got this in the bag unless mechanical problems or something physical happens with him. You know, so they can injuries can 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 really hit you hard at this stage of the race. Uh, thanks for watching, and uh, I'll do a video either tonight if something big happens. Uh, I'm in the West Coast, um, or um, if not, we'll do another update tomorrow. Take care. Thanks for watching.